Welcome back to Ask Diabla Shade with your host, Diabla Shade, LCSW. And I am back with a new video. Yes. If you're new to my channel, my channel is where mental health meets the millennial with just a sprinkle of my micro locks journey. Get into it, get into it, and get into it. This is a breakout. Um, so go ahead and subscribe since you're already here. Today will be a micro locks video, and I'm so excited. I am about to enter my fifth month in Lockland. That's what we're going to call it, Lockland, okay? Can I coin that term? I am going to be five months locked this February 2022. Before I hit five months of being locked, I am going to give you some of the products that I am using right now with my starter locks that I find to be very helpful in this transition from being a loose natural to a locked mommy, okay? So let's go ahead and get into today's video. Today, I will just be mentioning five products. Um, I'm not using too many products because one, is if you guys have been following my channel, my scalp, you guys, I think I might need to go talk to a dermatologist because I've been doing my research and I think your girl might have seborrheic or seboric, whatever it's called, dermatitis, which is like, it looks like dandruff, but it's actually like your skin is flaking and it's only in like small little sections of my hair so it'll be like maybe right here and then maybe right over here where it just looks like just this real gross dandruff thing and maybe i'm sharing too much but i've been doing a lot of research and i'm like that is what it looks like but i'm not a dermatologist so i'm thinking about going ahead and seeing one but right now i am taking some natural approaches to managing it there we go um, and so maybe I'll do a video on what I am using to manage it because it has definitely gotten better in the five months of being locked when I first realized that this might be an issue until now. So if you want me to do a video about how I'm taking care of my dry and flaky scalp or the little patches within it, then I'll do a video for that in the future. But today we are just focusing on my, look, top five, I guess. Yeah, I can say my top five products that I'm using in my lock journey. Before we get started, there's one, I'm going to do an honorable mention right now of one of my products that is was not on here. And it's something that you have around your house. And that is the little black rubber bands, okay? You know, the little black rubber bands. I still do the braid and band method when I wash my own hair as well as when I go to get my hair retightened. I also get it washed in. And she does the braid and band method if you have seen it in any past videos. So that is one that is like starter lock like you was doing a starter lock kit those little rubber bands will be in there so add those to your list i'll leave a link below you know some affiliate links so if y'all want to you know purchase through those links and you know sew it to your girl then we'll do it but outside of that let's go ahead and get into the products okay so my first product here is the heritage store rose water and glycerin hydrating facial mist this baby has been the truth for my scalp, my dry scalp issues. When I first realized that I was battling with possibly this dermatitis or this cerebic dermatitis on my scalp, I was using witch hazel because my lactician told me, but I was using the dick essence. I had a video on there. <laughs> and although it did help alleviate my scalp, I felt like it would leave my scalp just a little more dry than when I left it. I, it it was what it, it was good for what it was but i have upgraded y'all and this rose water and glycerin spray literally helps clean my scalp it sprays directly on there and you just put your finger in there and just rub it i feel like my scalp stays soothed like i'm soothing my scalp um, when I wash, I am seeing less um, dandruff flakes just because I'm using this maybe twice throughout the week. And it literally is a godsend. And you know what? I've used this and the hair to store rose water toner where it's just the rose water period. And this is way better even compared to that product. So I would suggest if you're battling with possible cerebic, uh, seborrheic dermatitis or just a dry and itchy flaky scalp, I would say add this to your regimen. It's really good between washes. So 
add this and also if you want to spray it on your hair i've seen some youtubers spray it on their hair to help moisturize it again it has that glycerin component that i feel like really locks in the moisture so you can use this on your locks i don't use this i don't spray this directly on my locks but i do find that my scalp is less itchy less flaky because i'm using this baby so go ahead and add that to your lock regimen my second product that i'm bringing is the design essentials honey cream moisturizing shampoo so of course because i have starter locks right now i am not really putting too much on my locks but i'm also wanted them to not be fully dried out like i understand that this is a locking process and your hair is gonna dry out whatever the case may be but i still would like for it to stay moisturized this shampoo cleans my scalp so good you guys like when i mean i use this and i was like oh this is gold in a bottle so i will literally braid and band my hair um put it on my scalp rub it with my fingers going through the sections and just oh it felt so good what i would suggest to add to this little baby maybe add either tea tree oil or peppermint oil and kind of let it sit on your scalp for maybe three to five minutes only because if like i said i'm battling with that dry itchy scalp i find my scalp to feel so much better once i add some tea tree or peppermint oil so i would say just add it to if you want to put this in um a bottle like you know the bottle that you use to color your hair i don't even know what those bottles are but yeah those little bottles those little mixing bottles pour a little bit of this in here a little bit of tea tree and uh maybe just a small bit of water um small bit of water <laughs> some water into it and use that instead of putting the tea tree directly here because you know you don't know how much you need or how much you might want to you don't want to overdo it and mess up your whole bottle so i would say just get a small mixing bottle and do that to help with your shampooing needs when you're doing the braid and band method but again this makes my hair feel so it doesn't make my hair feel stripped and i think that's really why i like it but i also feel like it's clean it's sudsy and it, it's cleaning my scalp so yeah this honey cream moisturizing shampoo is sulfate free and it is really good to add to your i guess your regimen your hair care regimen with your locks next <laughs> this baby right here this is the african pride moisture miracle coconut milk and honey hydrate and shine leave-in conditioner now i'm not gonna lie my loctician has told me that i necessarily do not need to be spraying anything in my hair like water i don't need to be getting it damped i don't need to be moisturizing or conditioning because we want your hair to lock so i don't do this often but since i don't add a conditioner after i shampoo this is my conditioner except for it's leave-in and i will spray it spray it on my hair if i'm about to do a braid out and this baby is so moisturizing like i love this i'm in this lock group on facebook right now i'm not on social media because y'all know me if you follow me on my channel you know i be taking long hiatuses off social media but when i was on there someone posted this in the group and i went out and bought it expeditiously and i was like this is the truth so if you're fully locked and your locks are fully mature then you can use this to moisturize your hair but for us starter lock babes baby just use this after you finish washing when you're doing your braid out twist out or however you're styling your hair and even when i'm washing my hair i let my hair dry in my braids from my braid and band method and i will just spray this on top of the braids and then just let it all dry so this is so moisturizing um again i just feel like my hair smells good i love the smell of it like i got it let me hold on y'all it smells so good it smells so sweet if you can't tell i love things with honey as in my shampoo i love that little sweet honey smell and then you know you might have somebody you know nibbling up on your ear and they can smell the honey in your stuff <laughs> y'all please please forgive me i i literally love having fun on youtube uh but yeah this coconut milk and honey is a great leave-in conditioner it's super good uh, like I said, if you're gonna, if you're not using the conditioner, like I'm not using the conditioner, but I will use this for a braid out, or I will use this after I wash and just spray it on my hair and let my braids from my braid and band method dry with this on there, and my hair feels so moisturized. Like I just washed my hair 
Sunday, and today is Tuesday. I'm sorry, my days run together. And this braid out is giving me all, all my life. So add this to your regimen. <sighs> Product number four is the Shea Moisture 100% Pure Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I love this. I know I've said this about products, but hello, these are my products. Why would I not love them? If you have not been following me, y'all know I'm on a eyebrow growing journey. Okay, listen, I'm trying to grow these eyebrows out. I'm not getting them threaded for a year because I need I need these to be full. But also, I'm on an edge growing journey because I protect the style for so much for so much of the past, like two years due to the pandemic, um, it was just easier to wear protective styles because you didn't know if this stuff was gonna shut back down. But in the midst of me protective styling, like my, there were two points in my edges that right here where they just started thinning because the braids were so heavy. Uh, I love wearing braids or faux locks and you know, you know. So we have been on a edge growing journey and I feel like this has definitely helped like with growing those back and growing my eyebrows back granted i've only been consistently using it for the five months um because i've just been dedicated to you know growing my hair in a healthy manner with these locks so this is literally the truth i would say definitely add this to your regimen the 100 percent pure jamaican castor oil or just use whatever oil of your choice but i just love this one and i just take literally just a squeeze like y'all it's like a squeeze and now i'll do it on my eyebrows at night and then i'll do it right here and just be like lord Okay, I see what you're doing for others. I see how you're laying the edges of others, Lord God. Come in, Lord God, and, you know, touch and agree with my edges. Let my edges touch the hem of your garment, Jesus. So they can be full because I don't want to have all this hair and then my edges don't be right. So add this Jamaican castor oil to your regimen, and I will say you will not be disappointed. Last but not least, this. So this is Wild Growth Oil, and this is by Hair Grown, what is this? HairGrownFast.com. I usually find this in the beauty supply store, and it's usually probably like 10 bucks. Um, but it's just a mixture of oils. You can actually make this at home, I'm sure of it. But it's just a mixture of oils, um, different oils, and I use it to help grow my hair. I've been using this for years and people always say, how does your hair grow fast? If y'all saw my journey, my hair, and I'll link the video here, up here somewhere. Uh, my hair journey from when I big chopped the first time, the second time, when I big chopped the second time, and y'all know I'm, I'm terrible with years. What year was that? 2018 or 19? I suck at years. Yeah. I really do suck at years. It was 2018. Nope, I remember this time. I cut my hair in June of 2018 and I have been growing my hair out since. So 18, 19, 20, 21, all about three and a half years at this point. And my hair just shot. And I would use this like once to twice a week on my scalp and just rubbing it in my scalp. And this, y'all, is the truth. I know this is the reason my hair was growing, especially in those protective styles. But yeah, I would just oil it with this and it has truly always made my hair grow. Again, you can make this at home, but the oils that are in here are coconut oil, olive oil, jojoba, rice bran, um, cocoa butter, pomegranate, rose hemp, and pumpkin seed. It also has extracts of mushroom, chickpea, lentil, cocoa mass, and sesame seed. It has essential oils of clary sage, eucalyptus, frankincense, grapefruit, lavender, and peppermint. Yeah, it has all the oils. <laughs> it, it has all the oils. So I will link all of these products below, but you can find this in your um, actual beauty supply, just like I found it. And that is my fifth product. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Those are my top five products that I'm using with my starter micro locks that I feel like are aiding me on this journey to healthy hair, as well as, you know, your girl is trying to have inches. She's trying to have inches down here. Okay, that's she, I want inches. So I'm doing everything to make sure that I have a healthy hair journey. 
and I feel like my hair has grown significantly. I mean, even when I got my micro locks five months ago, my hair was at probably about 13 to 14 inches. And I'm definitely seeing that it is continuing to grow and be full. And I know that these products have been so successful for me that I hope that they can be successful for you as well. Um, and if you have any products that you're thinking that I should use or I should try out, please link them below. Tell me what you're using for your lock journey as well. Again, thank you for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. We talk about all things mental health and micro locks. I think my next video probably should be a mental health video. I just, I don't know. I don't know really what I want to talk about, you guys. I have so many videos over the past three years of mental health that you can go check out. However, I know there's a lot of stuff happening in the media with like this high suicide rate that I was thinking about doing a video on. So maybe I'll do that as well. But if y'all are new to my channel, I am working on my dissertation. Y'all, I'm in my last year of my doctoral program. So I want to stay consistent with YouTube, but I literally am trying to be Dr. Diavola. So forgive me if I, you know, I don't post so, so often. My goal is to post twice a month. Uh, but I've been, you know, I've been trying to do better, but at least twice a month when I update you on my locks and just possibly a micro lock video and a mental health video. So I usually try to do three videos. Anyway, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and, you know, encourage me to stay consistent with y'all while I get this doctorate and become Dr. Diavola. Uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter at Diavola Shade. I'll be back on there soon, but follow me and I'll get there. And I'll see you when I get there. Um, and that's really it. Well, thank you for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.